Being a commercial pilot is one of the most challenging jobs you can have, but the pay and benefits aren't actually that great if you work for an airline. However, some pilots that mainly fly private jets called corporate pilots can actually have some crazy salaries and benefits. Obviously, if you fly around a billionaire all day, you're bound to see some crazy things. Here's a peek into the life of a billionaire pilot. Corporate versus Commercial Pilots On average, commercial pilots earn around $80,000 a year in the United States. But when it comes to corporate pilots, they can earn up to hundreds of thousands of dollars per year. And as expected, the pilots of billionaires can earn multiple times more than commercial pilots, often with a fraction of as much flying time. It is important to know that most corporate pilots were actually commercial pilots at one point in their lives. They're meant to be highly experienced and able to land at the smallest landing strips in the roughest conditions. You won't ever see a beginner be hired as a corporate pilot, especially by a billionaire. Because if you put yourself in a billionaire's shoes, and if you had all the money in the world, why wouldn't you hire only the best? In the past few decades, more and more billionaires are opting to fly in their own private jets rather than flying even first class on commercial flights. This is because they don't have the time to wait in queues for other people to board the plane when it is about to take off. They also don't have time to catch connecting flights to cities where they might not have a direct connection. So the easiest solution is to simply buy their own planes and hire their own pilots that can take them wherever they want, whenever they want. The pilots themselves are almost an integral part of these billionaires' lives, as they usually have just one. And as a result, they get to experience some of these billionaires spending extravaganzas as well, and even benefit from them. Their job While corporate pilots don't have to fly as many hours yearly as commercial pilots, they do have some more responsibility. First off, when they're flying around a billionaire, they're literally flying around billions of dollars. So even the smallest of mistakes can pretty much destroy their careers forever and make them liable for a lot of stuff. Aside from that, while commercial pilots generally have a large crew that all have their own tasks to do, corporate pilots have a very limited crew and they're mostly required to do all the cleaning and upkeep themselves, at least within the plane. Being on a private jet is also quite different from being on a commercial plane. It is much more intimate, especially for the pilots. They're expected to focus on flying while also being friendly and conversable with their passengers, as opposed to on commercial jets where the pilots are usually cut off from the people they're flying. Corporate pilots usually live near their employer, if not at their premises already. This is because they're expected to fly whenever their employer needs them to, including during holidays or normal vacation days. They usually don't have a fixed time off, but they're handsomely paid for their extra time. They need to take care of fuel, catering and all the extra things all by themselves with barely anyone to help them. Even ordering fuel and preparing bills is sometimes left to the pilots themselves. When the plane needs upgrades and repairs, it's usually the corporate pilot that has to make all the arrangements, since they're not really employed by an airline that can do all of that for them. What sort of planes do they fly? Private jets come in all shapes and sizes. In fact, even some planes that are usually considered only for commercial flights such as the Boeing 777 can be converted into a private jet with a few tweaks as we've seen with the Saudi royal family. However, most billionaires prefer much smaller planes that don't really require that much upkeep. The best-selling private jet in the world is the Embraer Phantom 300, which costs around $8.7 million and has running costs of around $1.5 million. While that may seem like a lot of money to you, when it comes to billionaires, this is barely chump change. Considering the Embraer Phantom 300 is only the best-selling private jet, most billionaires probably go for higher-end jets anyways, such as Elon Musk that uses a 2015 Gulfstream G650ER private jet, which costs an estimated $70 million. With no information available about its yearly running costs, we can only imagine that that's not cheap either. Gulfstream is considered the brand of choice when it comes to billionaires and their private jets, with everyone from Elon Musk to Bill Gates to the President of the United States having their own Gulfstream plane. That said, Musk's private jet might be slightly out of date, as the company released the G700 last year with a lot of extra features and much lower fuel consumption. The Path to Becoming a Corporate Pilot There isn't a clear-cut path to becoming a corporate pilot, especially for a billionaire. Aviation in itself is not a linear career path. You don't just start off as a normal pilot, then a commercial pilot and then turn into a corporate pilot. Usually, the job comes to you and not the other way around. Typically, a billionaire will already know some of the best pilots in the world due to their links and they will provide them with the additional training they need for all the extra things they need to do in this career. Aside from that, corporate pilots will usually be compensated handsomely for each of these extra tasks. 
At the minimum, at least three decades of flying experience is needed in order to become a corporate pilot. But there also needs to be no limitations of the pilot's abilities due to aging. In fact, former Air Force pilots tend to do better than former commercial pilots when it comes to flying private jets, as these aircraft often have to land in wonky landing strips rather than international airports. Thus, someone who has experience flying an actual fighter jet would be much more comfortable with landing in some tough conditions. Aside from all that, there is a global pilot shortage, with pilots being in high demand for both airlines and private individuals. Thus, the salaries of pilots across the board, even beginners, have begun to rise by a lot in the past few years. On top of that, the number of billionaires and other high net worth individuals in the world has also massively increased over the past few decades, and more private jets are being bought by them than ever before. With more jets, fewer pilots with experience, and a lot of private jet owners with millions to spend, you could just imagine how much these corporate pilots are earning. While the average corporate pilot easily earns in the six digits, we have no way of knowing how much a billionaire's pilot might earn. It's probably a number that most of us can't even imagine. What do the pilots think? Finally, the most detailed peek we can have into these pilots' lives is by knowing how they themselves feel about their jobs. Clay Lacey, a corporate pilot who flies a Gulfstream jet for many of the world's richest people, said, To be a professional pilot, you really have to love it. Otherwise, you won't stick with it. I love what I do, but I went through a lot of years of struggling to survive financially. Many pilots go through this. That is the way the industry is when you launch into an aviation career. What keeps you going is the love for the profession. The sentiments are quite similar for other corporate pilots such as Tyler Wisbar, who piloted multiple private jets, flying around anyone from celebrities to Saudi princes. Most of these pilots have said the life is hectic, especially when it comes to flying around the holidays, in which case they usually have to abandon their own plans in order to cater to their clients or employers. However, the love of flying and the compensation for their work is more than enough to keep them going. It's important to remember that no matter how much they earn, it's still a rigorous and demanding job. That's a wrap on a peek into the life of a billionaire pilot. What do you think is the most interesting aspect of their lives? Let us know in the comments below. As always, don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel for more content like this. See you next time!